EA has released some X Factor packs in the store, so I figured I might as well open up a few. Then, after I'm done opening up those packs, we're going to do an X Factor reroll, making it five total X Factor packs on the day. Now, these X Factor packs cost 75,000 coins apiece, or 1,500 points, and you actually have pretty decent odds in them. It is an untradeable pack, and you are guaranteed an X Factor, but you have an 87% chance of getting an 83 or better, and a 10% chance of getting an 86 or better. Before we hop into the packs, if you guys are new, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And disclaimer, don't ever spend money on this game. It's not worth it. All right, let's open up four of these X Factor player packs and see if we can get lucky in them. I'm not expecting too much, if I'm being honest with you. But let's see what happens. If you want, yeah, if you can say, sorry, I forgot to put uh, the chat on the screen. So if you want to say hi to YouTube, there you go. Let's see if we get anything good. I'm hoping for Lurkin or McDavid. We get it to uh, Team of the Week, Mackenzie Blackwood. Okay. Wow, an X Factor. I didn't see that coming, if I'm being honest. All right. Can we get anything else in the pack? I'm just going to skip it. I don't see anything. For the love of God. Give me something good to start it off. Please, I beg. Not what I'm looking for. Nope. No, no. Not what I'm looking for. We get a Team of the Week, Mackenzie Blackwood. Pack one I'm not super thrilled with. But we're going to open four of them. And then if I don't like how they go, I'm just going to do a reroll. So, you know what I mean? Either way, we could get something really good for the team today. It's not guaranteed, of course. But we'll see. Card number one is an X Factor. Is there anything else in the pack? I'm just going to skip it. Like, I don't want to sit here and... Oh, wow. 85 Kucherov. Okay. Cool. That's a couple collectibles. X Factor number two. Dylan Larkin or Connor McDavid. Please. That's higher overall and somehow worse. Yippee! That's not good. That's not good at all. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Pack number three. I'm starting to get uh, instant regret from spending money on this game. Let this be a lesson to everyone watching. Don't spend money on this game, by the way. That's Please don't do it. Eichel. And our X Factor. And another 84. This is a good pack. We got two 84s and an X Factor. All right. And a prime to our milestone. Whatever. All right. All right. What are we going to get? It's going to be Eichel because Eichel's base card is next to him. That's my that's my guess. Open? Open. We're going to get... I already have him. Great card. Amazing card. I already have him. All right. This is going great. I'm going to do an X Factor uh, reroll after this for sure. Like 100% I'm going to do one, but... Oh boy, this is not going great. X Factor packs for days, but damn, man, this could be better. Final pack. Can we get anything good? Kristen Campbell, 83. What's up? We get an X Factor. Yeah, we got three more chances at uh, Larkin or McDavid, for sure. Because we're probably not going to get them in this pack. Come on. Give me something else worth pulling, at least. I got an 85, I guess. But, like, yeah, these packs were not great. But... It can all turn around with a Dylan Larkin or a Connor McDavid. Please. Mitch Marner. It's not bad, I guess, but I'm going to trade. I'm, I'm doing a reroll. 100% doing a reroll because, like, that's... No. We can do a reroll. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just do a reroll. We'll just trade in the players that we don't want, like Marner. All right. We're doing a reroll. Jack Hughes, Rasmus Dahlin, and Nick Suzuki. Goodbye. But I already, I already have... Use. Otherwise, I wouldn't re-roll him. That's a great card to get. I, um, I never suggest re-rolling him. I think he's one of the better cards you can get in the game right now. All right. Re-roll time. We get three more here. And we're looking for Larkin or McDavid. I haven't pulled McDavid at all this year. So please, EA. I, would, I wouldn't mind it now. I think it'd be very nice for you to do it right now. Just give me the card. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I think everyone wants to see that happen. Jack Eichel. We got his base card. We could end up using this card, right? That's not terrible. At least I have something. But it's not McDavid or Larkin. Card number two. Josh Morrissey. I'm pro I'm probably not I'm probably not taking Josh Morrissey. I'm being honest with you. I don't think that no. No. Mm mm. EA. I've been loyal. I'm a shill. Be kind to me back, please. I beg. I mean, that's not a bad pack. It could have been a lot worse, but. I think in this situation, we've got to take Jack Eichel, right? I think no matter what, we've got to take Jack Eichel. I don't know if I'm going to use him. I didn't really like him on my main account or on my free-to-play team. But maybe I'll uh, try him out because 
I gotta do something with all these cards. Christ, that was bad. Now, the question is, yeah, is there a cooldown on the reroll? Yeah, there is. That's so lame. Oh, I would just do the reroll right now if I could. Uh, I can do a mini player pack. Are we ready? Well, we did get a big pull with Curtis Douglas. The guy is like nine feet tall. I don't know if that... I mean, he's a former Spitfire too, right? Yeah, he's six foot nine. He's a six foot nine center. That's it for packs. That was fun. Don't ever spend money on this shit. Guys, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a great night, and I'll see y'all tomorrow with another one. For now, I'm gone. Shout out to Twitch for keeping me sane throughout that entire pack opening, because that was rough. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.